do in the station, then get back out on the street where they're able to respond to calls quicker uh, as well as you know be more proficient in their job. Hello, this is Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Thanks for joining us. Cape Girardeau police officers will soon have laptops in their patrol cars. The idea is to keep officers digitally connected while they're on the streets. The laptop computers were made possible by a grant written by the Cape PD's public information officer, Darren Hickey, who joins us now. Officer Hickey, thank you so much for coming by. It's good to see you. Thanks, Jacob. Appreciate you having me. Well, give us some background here. What's the idea about uh, you know installing installing laptops in patrol cars? Uh, it's gonna. It's been a long time coming. We've got a. We, we were able to get some funds through some grants, and we're gonna hopefully implement implement these here in the next couple of weeks. Now, are they just like regular types of laptops that you could buy at Best Buy or something like that, or is there something special about these? No, these are uh, actually Panasonic Tough Books. They're a more rugged laptop that uh, will hopefully withstand some kind of some wear and tear and sitting in a vehicle and being in and out of the elements and things like that. Now, where else are these types of uh, laptops used? Uh, the laptops are utilized through law enforcement all over the United States, as well as military has used these laptops in the past. So, you know, they, they're a tough, proven laptop that they're going to, you know, withhold the daily uses of our law enforcement officers. So how many did you end up uh, acquiring? We received uh, 29 laptop computers through the Missouri Police Chiefs Association who received funds from the Homeland Security. And uh, we also have uh, in our plans three more laptop computers, which was purchased through justice assistance grants through the federal government. So how is, how is this going to change how police work is, in, is enforced here in Cape Girardeau? Because I, I can imagine having a computer in the car has to have some, some pretty significant benefits for officers. Oh yeah, this is going to completely change for our officers. They're going to be able to stay in the cars. They're going to be able to you know, basically do anything that they could in the station. They're going to be able to be able to do that in their cars. Write the reports, run driver's license checks, uh, run uh, you know, license plate checks. Uh, as well as run, you know, histories and try to find mug shots on, you know, wanted persons. You know, anything that we can do in the station, we're going to be hopefully be able to do in the car as well. Well, let's just kind of give us an idea of what a typical shift would be like for an officer. I guess there's it's 12-hour shifts. Yeah. And how, I mean, how much of that time would be spent uh, would actually be spent on the streets, and how will that change with these with these laptops? Well, at this time, you know, our officers are having to come back to the station to write their reports, to you know, do any paperwork, to fill out a form, to gather a statement, to do anything at all. These officers are going to be able to utilize the laptops to complete the forms, finish the accidents, and things like that in the car. So in a 12-hour shift, an officer may spend, you know, three, four, even five hours in the station writing reports, booking subjects that we've arrested. Uh, these officers are now going to be able to come in, you know, do what they have to do in the station, then get back out on the street where they're able to respond to calls quicker uh, as well as, you know, be more proficient in their jobs. Now how about GPS capabilities? Will this allow dispatch to know, for instance, you know, where a, a given car at, is at at a given time? Oh, absolutely. These are going to have GPS locators on the car. It's called Automatic Vehicle Locator. Uh, this will actually display up on a map in our dispatch center where they can see the cars that are logged on to the system. They're going to be able to see where they're at at any given point. Uh, therefore, if there's an accident, say, at Broadway and Kings Highway, our officers, you know, may be just around the corner, but, uh, you know, he, the dispatcher doesn't know that. So they're going to be able to look at the map, have somebody respond in a more timely fashion. Now, how about for the uh, for the safety of officers? How is this going to make their job a little bit, a little bit safer? Well, for example, on vehicle stops, uh, you know, vehicle stops are a very dangerous situation for our officers. They're going to be able to, you know, handle the call, run the information themselves, be able to keep eyes on the on the offender. Uh, in the vehicle, as well as get them off the side of the road. More officers are, are injured every year, uh, you know, standing on the side of the road waiting for information. This is actually going to get them, handle their business, write a summons if needed, then get back in the car and get off the side of the road. Now, you mentioned this isn't possible because of a, a Homeland Security grant. Would this, I mean, would, this, would, you, would you have been able to do this without that, without that grant? I, I think it would have been a long time coming just because of the financing that's involved, the uh, in-depth networking, um, you know, the amount of just the laptops themselves, you know, are, are close to $4,000 a piece. Uh, so this has been a very expensive, but, uh, you know, it's going to be well worth it uh, in the end. Now, briefly, why, I mean, from Homeland Security's perspective, why is it that they want to have uh, these, these laptops in, in patrol cars throughout the United States? Well, it just makes more for communication to be better. It allows us to share information better. Officers are going to have the ability to send messages back and forth. So they're going to be able to uh, get that information out there quicker. Darren Hickey is the Cape Girardeau Police Department's Public Information Officer. Officer Hickey, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. Thank you for having me, Jacob. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration between the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and KRCU, the public radio station.
for Southeast Missouri. The show is produced by Jim Dufek. Southeast students are manning the boards, operating the cameras, pointing lights all over the place, and taking care of a bunch of really important stuff I don't understand. I'm Jacob McClelland. Thanks for watching.